Hi everyone, welcome back. This is our second tutorial on the Scratch application online. So we're going to have a look at a few things that you can do with your characters or what they call sprites. Um, so to start off with, you're always going to start off with the Scratch Cat. Uh, you can carry on using Scratch Cat if you'd like to, or you can add your own characters using this little option at the bottom. So you can choose a sprite, which they've got a vast library of different types of sprites. You can paint your own sprite. Uh, just go for a surprise or you can upload images um, to, to make your own sprite from a picture or an image that you've got. Um, I'm just going to add a new sprite here for our purposes. We've got lots to choose from. Uh, if you choose the sporty ones, they'll come with a few animations. If you hover over, you get to see what it looks like. So I'm going to choose Ben and I'm just going to hover over the cat and press the little bin icon on the top right. That'll get rid of um, the orange cat. So here we go. Our sprite is on stage. We can click and drag them to put them in the right position that we want. We can also change underneath the properties. So we can change the name. So we can call this little character something else if we want to. We can change the positioning. And you notice as I drag him around, the character position also changes in the X and Y. Um, we can also alter the size, so if I want to be bigger, the size there, and the direction. Direction actually is an angle, so think about the angle that you want for your character. Okay, and those are the basics about properties for adding a new sprite um, and changing some of its basic properties. If you look to the left again on the tabs, you've got costumes. In this particular character sprite, We've got four different looks. And in this view, you've got lots more options in terms of changing the way that that particular character looks. So we're not going to be using a lot of the uh, most of the tools, but it is good to learn a few of these basic tools. So for instance, if in this particular position, we wanted to change um, uh, the head of the sprite, we can click with the normal pointer, we can drag it around. And if you select it, you can also see some options to resize the head and to rotate the head. Just click outside when you're done. You've also got additional options, a different, a different uh, pointer system here, which, is allow, which allows you to reshape parts of the character. So if I just select the reshape button here, uh, I'm going to zoom in for this one. So if I select his, um, so if I select his mouth, for instance, um, it allows me to reshape the size of it and also the angles, make him look a little bit more surprised there. Okay, so the reshape option gives you a lot more control over specific parts of the body or specific parts of the sprite. So this, for instance, I can completely bend each element of his leg. To reposition it somewhere else. I'm just going to use a normal select here. You can see that's a whole complete object. So in order to move the foot, we're going to have to use a different tool. The tool we're going to use is called group ungroup. So right at the top here, we're going to ungroup that object. So now you'll find that each one is a separate part. Again, we ungroup and we can just move his foot. We can also rotate the foot. We can change the size of the foot. Put that back together. So there's quite a few nifty little tools here that you can play around with in order to reposition a character um, and their different parts of the sprite to position them in the way that you want to perform a particular action. So these are the most common tools we'll be using to draw our characters and to reposition them the way we want to in order to demonstrate the different skills for our sport. Uh, if you also want to, you can draw your own sprites and your own characters and add items to the character. So for this particular exercise, I'm just going to draw a small paddle next to our character here. 
I'm going to use the paint icon. So I'm going to draw freehand and choose a color. Let's choose, sorry. brown color there okay so I'm just going to freehand draw circle there I can fill that in and I'm also going to get a line tool here draw a nice line across to Ben's hand draw another line across there and connect those lines together I can also fill that in as well. So we've drawn a few different shapes here, but again, we select all of them with the normal select tool. And we can group them together. I've just created a paddle there. And again, we can just go back and change the color if we don't like it. We can also select it as one object, rotate it put it in his hand, we can change the size of it. You've got complete flexibility with the way you work on this. And this is quite a nice little um, drawing introduction. There are lots of other tools that you can play around with. There's an eraser, there's a text tool, shapes, and those are really helpful in order to get you started in your drawing exercises for sprites. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you have fun drawing your first image.